What's going on YouTube? Keith Moore Jr. here, boxing coach and personal trainer. So I wanted to do a response to Rolly Romero's media workout, talk about his physique and the upcoming fight that he has with Tank Davis. So first of all, Rolly's physique is phenomenal. It's hard to believe that he's going to be fighting at 135 pounds. Now, Prior to me seeing the media workout, some previous footage I've seen of Roley. Now, I'm familiar with Roley. I've been watching him for some years now, but I did not think he stood any chance at all in his tank fight. But watching him work the mitts, not just hit the mitts, just, you know, working on boxing, but working on certain things like throwing that three with the six, you know, getting that elbow out there, slipping. These are all things that he's going to be doing in the fight. Now, something that we have to put into perspective is Roley's size. And Roley's been saying it for years. Like Tank, you know, he fights smaller guys or he will fight a guy that's moving up, which was not the case in like the Mario Barrios fight. So that has already been debunked. But you can say for the... For most cases, they have not been like a Rolly Romero when it comes to size. Now, we all know styles make fights. So, Rolly Romero has a very awkward style. So, with his awkward style, his power and explosiveness, I think that if Tank is not careful, he can get caught with something. And all it takes is one punch and that can change the entire fight. So my mindset going into this fight is completely different now because initially I was like, Tank is going to thrash Roley. This is not going to be a close fight. And that still may be the case, but I'm going on record and saying I think this is going to be a closer fight than a lot of people think until someone gets knocked out because I don't think there is any chance that this fight goes to the decision. I, I just don't see it happening. And something I'm also going to be interested to see because Roley is very muscular as well. And me coming from, you know, a bodybuilding background, doing boxing now, I know that later in the fight that can cause him to get tired quicker just because of the buildup in those muscles and the lactic acid and things like that. So, like if the fight is gets to like the seventh, eighth, ninth round, things like that, I'll be interested to see how Roley is moving at that point and if he's going to get gassed because, I mean, he looks in phenomenal shape, but a physique doesn't win fights. But we know Roley's big. We know he likes to use that elbow a lot in the fight. So I think Roley's game plan is, one, get physical, keep Tank at a distance because he has the height advantage. So I think whenever Tank tries to come in, those hooks and uppercuts that we saw, that we saw Roley working at the media day, I think he's going to be throwing a lot of that. And the fact that his style is awkward, something can land. All he needs to land is one solid punch and then that can change the entire outlook of the fight. Now, my prediction for this fight, I mean, I like I, I hate doing a fight like this and then going with the easy prediction like Tank by KO. But Tank is just, one, Tank is the better boxer. So once again, there's no question about that. Tank is definitely the better boxer. And like I said, styles make fights. We've seen better boxers lose in the past to someone that had one punch knockout power and that had an awkward style that is not conventional. So my official prediction for this fight, I'll make it more, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm going on record and saying that I'm betting on the Roley knockout. I'm betting on that just because I think those odds are going to be worth it. Now, my prediction for the fight, I'll bet the round I have Tank Davis by KO in the eighth round. It's my official prediction for this fight. Now, I'm betting on Roley knockout, so 
you know, we still got time before the fight. I'm going to, you know, keep watching some more things and workouts and things like that. But I just think Tank, you know, he he knows what's on the line here. He knows he cannot lose to Roley. Like, as much trash as Roley talks, Tank knows, like, I can't lose to him because Roley will not let Tank ever live this down. Now, and then that would hurt Tank's career a lot. Now, Roley's in a position to where he kind of has everything to gain and nothing to lose. Like, if Roley loses to Tank, okay, we expected you to lose to Tank. Now, depending on how he loses, like, if he just comes out there and gets destroyed, yes, that will impact him. But if he's in a competitive fight and, it get, and then gets knocked out in the later rounds, yeah, you know, he'll have to climb back to the top again. But, you know, it, it won't be like a career ending thing for him. Tank would have a much further climb up just because he's such, like, Roley's such an underdog in this fight. Like, Tank is supposed to just go out there and dog walk Roley Romero. But, you know, with Roley's size, him being awkward, I think it's going to be a lot more entertaining than people are anticipating. So, I'm betting on the Roley knockout. I got Tank by KO in the eighth round. We're going to see what happens. Let me know what you all think of this fight. Do you all think Roley's physique and his size is going to have any impact in fighting Tank Davis? Or do you think it's going to be more hurt? It's going to hurt him more being that size and having all that muscle mass. I think that it's going to help him because, like I said, Roley's not preparing to go the distance in this fight. He wants to knock Tank out. And I think from the second we hear ding ding, it's going to be all out war from the beginning, which is going to make for an action packed fight. But please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what other fights you all want me to discuss. I'm going to get back into talking about boxing like I did years ago just because I enjoy it. And then I receive feedback from a lot of people that I know telling me to bring it back. And for this fight, I think I'm going to try to go live. I haven't went live in a while, uh, but I'm going to try to go live so that we can watch it together as a community. And thank you all for 6K subs. Let's hurry up and get the channel to 10K. All right, catch you on the next video. Peace.